Hi everyone, Nikki here, Smurfy161. So I'm here to do another stash busting week and I'm pretty sure it's week 24. So I thought I'll just have a break from Christmas cards because my stuff's getting a bit full and I've gone a bit mad with Christmas cards so I'm running out of room where to store them so I thought I'll just take a bit of a break until I can shuffle some things around because a friend of mine normally buys some so that I cut some down and my dad normally buys some and stuff so um, yeah I'm just having a break from Christmas so I thought a couple of male ones and a couple of female ones so I'll just move um, this to one side where should I put it let's pop it there Oops. I'm running out of room so this is a stamp that I've had for a really long time it's a crafter's companion one but like I said, I've had it a good few years, so I don't know if they still do this range. And I can't remember what range it was. So I've just coloured it in with a mixture of Pro Markers and Spectrum and, you know, and Copics. So it's a mixture of my pens. I just coloured him in. These are just going to be very simple little cards. So these are UK A6 size. And I've just used some of my Hunky Dory Adorable Scorable card and just trimmed that down to make a couple of cards. And just got some paper I had free in a magazine. This is actually an old envelope, but I like the pattern. So, like I said, it's just going to be a very, very simple card after yesterday's. Um, disaster I really um feeling a bit fragile so um um yeah so my blood did go funny so we're waiting I had a, another blood test today so I'm just waiting to hear um back from the hospital of what my results are and what we need to do because yesterday I did spend a little bit of time in A and E um, as I had to have, it's a drug called Fit K, and I had to have that, but because of my heart problem, I have to have it done in hospital, and so I'm really tired, <laughs> but I wanted to do this video, because I sort of want to keep on top of my videos. Um, yeah, so that went a little bit to pot. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had to have that done in hospital, and... I might just go around these with a bit of blue, I think. And have this drug, which is called Fit K. Um, most of the time I've had it through a cannula or a drip. But this time I have to have it as a liquid and it's the most revolting taste ever. It's horrible. Even though they diluted it down a bit for me, it was really not nice. Um, but, which helps thicken up your blood. So I've got to wait... To hear back from the hospital to know whether I have I um have my warfarin tonight or if I don't, and when I will next be tested. But we're really puzzled of why my blood's gone funny. You know, um, I've lost a tiny bit of weight, but not a lot, not enough to sort of um, affect that. Um, food's pretty much the same. You know, just really weird. But then they said, oh, you could have had a little bit of a virus and. You know, which I have. I've felt a little bit off colour lately. But I th thought it was just like hay fever, you know, allergy sort of thing. And they even said that could upset me. So I'm like thinking, oh, every little thing is going to affect my warfarin, which it's not really what I want. But never mind, there's worse things. So let's just decide how I'm going to map that. So we've got that. I might do that. Uh, do something like that. Oh, let me just go and get my message box, my sentiment box. So. I've got female and male. Let's a few ones for male one. Uh, yeah, so, I thought I'd just come on while I've got to wait for the phone. I thought I might as well do something enjoyable. She did phone a little while back just to say, wanting to know what's going on. This is the INR nurse, so I hopefully should hear back soon. So if the phone goes, I'll have to pause the camera and 
I don't know what I'll do with the video. I haven't decided yet. Um, hopefully it won't go because I really hate joining videos together. And it's, it's not drastic, but I know I've said it before. It just drives me potty because it's just not a simple process. Well, the way I do it is just seems to be long-winded that you have to upload it and upload them separately and then join them together. Maybe there's a different way, but I'll stick to this way. This blue paper is actually part of a seaside theme um, card project that I did a while back that I had free in a magazine and I thought well it doesn't look very sea like if I do it in a different way because I haven't got much um, mail stuff. I This is the only mail themed stamp I've got other than my Stampin' Up one which is trees. I really have not got much mail stuff so it's something I keep meaning to I keep saying to myself oh we must get some more mail stuff and then I forget uh, it's fine just sentiment so these I've probably said before just sentiments I've collected off cards um you know cards my dad's had or bits left over from projects or some things I've been sent in happy mail I think I might have that one birthday wishes as it's bluey so I think we'll have that just make sure it is just one because it's quite thick. No, it's just one. It's just very thick. I don't know what I had that in, whether it was Happy Mail or a card kit I had free in a magazine. But I am a little bit OCD with so Not OCD, but I like male-themed ones in a separate container, female separate in Christmas. I'm very much like that. So there's that one. So I'll just pop that up there. And move that out of the way. Make a mess. <laughs> And then for this one, I've gone all kind of monochrome, but not quite. So I did him like that. And then these are some papers that I had sent to me either as a prize or in Happy Mail. I can't remember, but they're Do Crafts one, one of their capsule kits. And I thought they were quite nice for a mail card. And I'm really into ripping things at the moment. Um, yeah. Sometimes I think it's nice just to, you know, get some paper and rip it. <laughs> it's quite relaxing, I think. So these mail card ones are going to go in my own stash because I've only got a few mail cards. So these are going to be for my own use. So I think I'll stick that right down the middle. Now, do I want to go around this with a pen? No, I'm going to leave this white, I think. I think, yeah, leave that white. <laughs> well, what I've got to remember, I've got to go that way because that's where my image is going. I could have had a disaster then, when well, not a big disaster because I could have just turned it round to any paper I'm sticking on. So, yes, so my mission is I've got a list of things I want, but I must try and get some ma more mail stuff, and I've not ripped that far enough, so we will just do that. Problem sorted. That. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to just have a quiet few days once my blood's sorted. Let's do something else like that with that one. Because we know the bits of paper that I've torn off will not go to waste. Oh. Uh, yeah, quite like that. Might just have to tear just a smidge off there. Oh, I do like that. And I think a ripped edge looks really nice with um, a male theme. You know, I guess it that sort of grungy look. I know I'm not the only person that dreads male cards. <laughs> Female ones, yeah, fine. Make them to the cows come home. Same as Christmas cards, but men's cards, I'm like, no, dreading it. But hopefully, I'm seeing my friend soon who does the stamping up stuff, so... I ordered one of the um, stamp sets from there and it's a lighthouse and stuff and I cannot wait for that to come because it's so, it's nice for male or female so he can go there. And I think this was either in Happy Mail from Julie from Olivia's Craft Boutique or it came in Happy Mail from Crafty, um, Crafty Crab. 
So whichever one it was, that is what I'm going to use. I know it covers up some of it, but it does seem to go with it. And this will probably be a card that I hand deliver, so I don't mind that that's a bit bulky. And I haven't thought of anything to do for next week yet. Normally I'm a week ahead and this time I'm not. So um, I'll have to have a little think of um, something to do for next week. I do want to try and keep this sort of series to um, cards and maybe tags. Sorry, my jumper's annoying me. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to keep it just to tags and cards because I've now... If you haven't seen any of them, I'm sure you have because I've pretty much it's the same people that comment on my videos. Um, like my revamping one, I want to keep that for like altering items or glue, you know, more more of a messy craft. So that's that one. Oh, I do like that. It goes really well with it. Right. So yes, that's what I'm hoping to do. So this is um, Hunky Dory Miri card. Let me swap my messages around. Ow. Whatever was on the table just hurt my knuckle. And yet again, these are going to be for my own use. Um, I might not, I don't think I'm going to put a message on these actually because I think I'm going to save them for like when I do happy mail swaps and stuff. I think. Anyway, if I've got a hello or something like that, then I'll use that. But if I haven't, then I won't. So, yeah, so this is one of my hunky-dory images. And I've just used one layer. Uh, this is paper that I've had for ages from deco time. I know it's like birds and stuff, but it's, it does really go. Um, so, I'm going to cut... A mat for that. Normally I would measure but I think with how my head is today that ain't going to happen. But I just thought that pink really goes with that. This is the Miri card from Hunky Dory and it's the darker range. So um, if you want to have a look go and have a peek. Um, yeah 50 sheets of Miri and I think it was like I've been like 15 between 15 and 20 pounds. So for 50 sheets of Miri, I really don't think that's bad because, well, we know how expensive Miri is just for one sheet and it is really nice. It folds nicely, it cuts nicely. It's just really nice. So, let's just pop that there. And let me just, actually, I might just layer that one up. So I'm just going to get the paper pack so I think... I'm going to put a little layer or just cut the flower out if I can find it. Aha. So this image, these images have come out of the Hunky Dory Little Book of Vintage Lace. It's like I've done a flip through. So if you want to see it more in depth, there is a video on that. So I think I'm just going to cut that out. It's for my scissors that are easier to cut fiddly stuff. I'm not very good at fussy cutting. Um... That's why I like die cut images that pop out, you know. Pre, pre um, I mean decoupage images that are die cut. Yeah. It's not my, it's not my forte cutting out. And I think that's partly where I've had um, strokes and stuff and a heart attack and things like that as a youngster that um, I find it hard to hold. I can't even write for very long now. But surprisingly, I can crochet, and I think that's maybe just holding it in a different way. I'm not going to waste any of that, cause bits of that will be going in one of my books. So, Oh, crumbs, I've cut that out, and I can't think how it goes. You twit, Nick. Ah, oh, there it is. So, yeah, let's just get some foam pads on that. Actually, I might do the foam pads in a minute, because otherwise it's going to be a pain. Now I've got to try and cut straight. I'm going to, I have got the paper trimmer my friend gave me, which is great. And it's fine for just doing a straight, you know, one little cut. But when it's something like this, I'm going to have to get a different paper trimmer that I can put up on the counter. Let's put that up there. 
Right, so I think I'm going to cover the whole of this with this bird paper because I really like it. But I'm being good because my stash is going down. So I have been good. Not perfect, but I have been good. So it is, go it is slowly going down in places. Um, and I'm going to, I probably said, but I don't know if it was a crochet video or one of these sort of videos. I'm going to put some of my crochet shawls on eBay, see if I can sell them and get some pennies for um, either new wool or, um, you know, other things. <laughs> um, hopefully they'll sell. I did sell two of my teddy bears, one to my dad, but, you know, it's still a sale, and then one on eBay, so... Um, and that is just going to go like that. Yeah, I'm not going to put a message on this because I always think it's handy to have a couple of blank cards. Especially if you want to send a little note to somebody, it's quite handy to have a blank card. So, um, And also, like I said, when I do Happy Mail or swaps with somebody, it's I think it's nice just to put in a little card. Even if you write just hello or something like that. Because... Um, being dyslexic, my not only is my writing a bit bad, but um, I do want to see if I can find a hello or something to put on there. It would be nice, but if I can't... I might do that off camera, because I know I'm running... Yeah, I've only got 12 minutes left on the actual bit of the thing, which isn't too bad on time. I forgot to um, bring my phone in and set the timer on that. I'm not going to go mad on foam pads because um, I don't want it overly thick. I used to use silicone glue but it started to give me a headache and upset my asthma a bit so I used foam pads. So we've just got that very simple one. And then to finish off, well I had to use teal because that's just me. Um, I've got this sewing machine one that's also in that same range. I really must play with my sewing machine someone some of the paper that um is one of the pa out of one of the paper pads from Poundland. so let's just move this to one side cover this up and i thought it's the similar colors to it so sometimes if you haven't got the paper pad that necessarily goes with a kit or a theme um pick a color out from like one of the images like I picked the teal out and put that with that and the beige and it goes well even though it's not the same kit so yeah um, some of you might already know that but as I've said in videos before um, we're all on different levels and swapping tips and ideas you know I think it's really nice to do I mean I'm still learning and I've said that before as well I I could probably repeat myself in some of my videos, um, which I, I'm not going to apologise for because, I mean, I'm on week 24. I can't remember stuff I said at week one. I have enough trouble saying what I remember from the day before. <laughs> so, yes, I will have a think of what I want to do for next week. Um, I might do something like on that strip theme thing again. I'm not sure yet. Right, so we've got this card. But yeah, I love these top um, sheets from out of that book. It's, they are just wonderful. I really do think they're worth their money. Um, yeah, I just think they're great. I'm not paid by um, Hobbycraft, uh, not Hobbycraft, Hunky Dory, and I'm not also not paid by Hobbycraft. I'm not um, paid by any company to say, oh, I use their products. I said, um, wish I was, be great. Um, but no, I'm not paid by any company to say anything. I just say it as it is. If I don't like something, then I'll say so. Like um, I've said about the pens, the Crafters Companion Spectrum Noirs. I know some people love them, but for me personally, um, they're not quite what I wanted. So. Yeah, that's just my opinion, and we all have to make our own decisions and mistakes and stuff. 
so that is just going to go in a minute these are quite big so they definitely look better on a five by seven card you could um just cut the sewing machine out do whatever you want with them i think that's what i like about hunky dory is their card kits like even their decoupage um you know like the christmas one and kits like that that they do even though they've given you the idea, you can get so much more out of it. You can cut it down. And I really like that about a company. When you buy something and that's all you can do with it, it sort of puts me off a bit. I'd rather have something and be able to do my own thing with it. Now, where did I put my scissors? Ah, there. So I'm going to roughly cut the sewing machine out as best I can. I'm certainly not going to cut that middle bit out there. No way. Not even with a craft knife. Well, I think with how my INR is at the moment, it's probably best if I don't, don't use any sharp products, you know. Could end up being a horror film rather than a craft film. So, yeah, I'm going to avoid... I mean... If I was feeling more up to it, I probably would have cut it out with um, a craft knife, but yeah, not going to risk giving you all a horror film. And plus, I'm not very, I'm, I'm not too bad with like if somebody else gets hurt or something like that, but my own blood, oh no, 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 just no. <laughs> right, foam pads again, that's something I need to stock up on, some foam pads. But, um, I'm going to have to have a look at my little book of list of things I'm running out on and maybe do a little order soon. But until I know where I'm going to be, if I'm back and forth to the hospital, it's going to be a bit of a pain ordering stuff and not only that. This week's food order cost a blinking fortune, so um, and that had to go on the credit card. So, um, yeah, I think I better leave the credit card alone at the moment and just make do with stuff I've got. Right, so, oh, get off. So that is just going to go on there. So we've done that one. Let me put that in place. We've done the sewing machine. We did that flower, whatever it is, a pink flower. Um, and then we did the football one. Oh, I've got some maybe behind there that I'm planning on doing something with. And that one, so let me just make sure I have shown them. Yeah, so the two football ones and the girly ones. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye.